While the tablet market has certainly seen better days, tablets are still nice to have as a secondary device. That's why the $50 price tag of this new Nook tablet makes it a compelling offer. But is it actually worth anything at that price? I'm Ian from Your Tech Explained, and this is the review of the Nook Tablet 7-inch. With a $50 tablet, you can't really expect much, but in terms of specifications, the Nook 7 is actually pretty respectable. You'll get a 7-inch IPS display, 8GB of storage, along with a microSD slot, a 2 megapixel rear camera, a VGA or potato quality front facing camera, and Android 6.0 Marshmallow. The low end specs of this tablet won't blow you away, but for a $50 device it's pretty respectable. Apps sometimes crash when they launch and they definitely take a few seconds to start up. But once in the app, performance is pretty snappy. Being a Nook tablet, there are pre-installed apps on here. Barnes & Noble definitely pushes you to use their services, as evident in the Barnes & Noble sign-in screen during setup and the home screen layout. However, the reading experience is buttery smooth. I didn't experience any sluggishness while using the Nook apps, and the user interface with them is quite nice. If the Nook apps are your primary attraction, then rest assured it will be a fantastic experience. If you're not looking to use this for its Nook apps, then you can easily hide the apps using a third-party launcher, but you can't uninstall or disable them. As for the screen, it's surprisingly good. The screen is bright and the pictures look alright. It is worth noting that because it's an IPS display, whites will have a bluish tinge to them instead of the warmness provided by AMOLED displays, but it definitely exceeds what I would expect from a $50 device. Speakers haven't been a high point on tablets, and this speaker certainly isn't an exception. To put perspective on this, the Pixel sounds like the best speaker ever when compared to the Nook, but it gets the job done for notifications. Just connect it to a speaker or even some earbuds if you're listening to music or watching a movie. There's multiple ways you could use this tablet. Using it as a Nook reading device is a fantastic way to use this, and it won't disappoint you in any way. If you're looking to use it for social media, videos, music, then beware that it may be a little sluggish at times. To end this review, I'll say that for $50, this is a fantastic device. It definitely has its weak points, but it does everything that tablet needs to do, and does it beyond well for its price point. If you're looking to pick up a tablet for yourself or someone else this holiday season, then this would be a great tablet to get. You can buy this Nook tablet from your local Barnes & Nobles or online. Purchase link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.